Hi, this is Matt, and I'm going to run you through a how to uh, back up your computer using Drive Image XML. So, uh, essentially, I just Googled uh, Drive Image XML, and it pulls up their web page. The first hit, it always is. Um, it gets a lot of traffic, as you can imagine. It's a free backup tool. I use it all the time, and uh, it's it's one of my favorite tools to use. I make a bunch of money off of it because not too many people know about it. Uh, so um, it's also part of the Ultimate Boot CD project, so uh, you get that added bonus too. Um, so, but what you want for home usage, you, you want to click this link down at the bottom. It's uh, I think it's the private license or the home version, something like that. It's the one you don't have to pay for. So uh, it's pretty much a default install. You just click run, couple nexts. You don't really have to change much. You might want to read the license. You might not. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and once it's installed, I'll uh, I'll go and show you how to use that. Okay, so uh, once it's installed, uh, you'll see a icon on your desktop called Drive Image XML, and I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. And once we get to the interface portion of it, uh, there will be a link. It just says Backup, Restore. There's a couple different options. Um, we're going to do the backup today. And right there, it shows you the drives that you have. I have a C drive and I have an O, o drive partitioned out. Um, I, I typically back up to my uh, second partition, that being my O drive, uh, and that's kind of the screens I'm going through now. So the ones you want to back up when you get to that screen, you want to highlight it and then go ahead and click next at the bottom. And this is just asking me where I want to save the files. I'm going through uh, to my backup folder on the O drive. I think I got a backup there already, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that old backup and. Uh, that way I have enough room uh, on on that drive. And I, I usually make my backup drive about 10 gigs. I haven't seen um, a compressed backup from Drive Image go over uh, 8 gigs. And that, that was with a lot of uh, data. So uh, I'm just going to name it Fresh Install and the date. And uh, down at the bottom on the left, I split the large files just in case I need to burn them onto a CD. It doesn't uh, make them any bigger than uh, 600 megs. And the compression rate, I pick high. Uh, I want those uh, files to be real small. Uh, and this is kind of what it looks like. All right. And once you start it, it uh, <clears throat> it locks the uh, operating system, um, so it can create a, uh, an image of that particular moment in time. All right. And it always says, you know, it's going to take like five hours, this and that. Um, but if you wait uh, a little bit longer, it generally evens out to about right around 20 minutes or so as you can see right here uh, it's been running for about eight minutes and it's got about 11 more minutes to go so uh, not too bad um, and again uh, you can use your computer when uh, you're you're use when when you're actually doing a backup you're not locked into uh, not using your computer so if you wanted to if you uh, hit uh, Windows D at the same time uh, you can get to back to your desktop and continue working while this is uh, going on. Uh, having said that, it will take a little bit longer if you're, you know, gaming while you're trying to do this. So um, here we are. About, got about four minutes to go, um, and. All right, there. My video editing just kicked in, so saved you uh, some time there. I didn't really want to dictate that whole uh, 20 minutes of uh, backup. So uh, once you get to this point, it does kind of run through something goofy. Um, just go ahead and let the let it continue to run. Like uh, it, it'll keep sh showing those banners and go through a bunch of different banners. That usually takes 15 to 20 minutes too. So all together, about 40 minutes. And when that's all said and done, uh, you'll you'll see it. It says it's finished, 
and you just go ahead and click finish uh, down in the uh, bottom right hand corner uh, as you, you can kind of see it just changed uh, it's dumping all the file names to uh, an, an XML file and all that stuff's being backed up onto my O drive uh, but you can save this onto a USB drive it's not uh, it's not like you're locked into anything like that so if, if, if you're more comfortable with storing it on USB drive so that way uh, you have a uh, fail safe in case your drive fails uh, you're more than welcome to. There's an option for that. Uh, I typically save it on the uh, same part, uh, same drive because it's faster to restore. And then what I do is I copy th that backup over to a USB drive. Um, here's what the files look like. That's my O drive we're looking at. And depending on how big uh, uh, your your C drive is when you do the backup, is how many of those files you're going to get. Um, that w I believe that was 11 gigs. Uh, when I did that, and it turned out to be uh, three and a half uh, full of backup files, so uh, not too bad. It's pretty uh, straightforward, I think. And once you do it once or twice, I think you'll do the uh, you'll feel the same way. So I uh, hope this was uh, helpful to you. Have a good night.